Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating a trigger and then using a trigger handler for that trigger. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to file, go to new, go to Apex trigger, and let's uh, give it a name. Let's just call this something like account update trigger and then select the object that you wanna use. We're gonna use account, hit save. Then we wanna do update. So let's do after update as well. It's basically, basically after, after save, we wanna do the update. Um, so yeah, we've got our Apex trigger here. Next step is we need a Apex class. So let's go Apex class, let's call this something like account you sort of want to keep the naming convention quite similar because if you name this something something else it's going to be quite tricky to um find it sometimes and you can lose it especially if you if you haven't used it for like a couple of weeks or months and you're trying to find what you did here so i'm just going to call this account update trigger handler which is pretty much the same account update trigger and just the handler hit save so now we've got our um Apex class here. Inside of this, I'm um, just gonna do a basic public static void. And <clears throat> we'll just call it something like handle trigger. All right, and let's maybe put in some per some parameter in here like list. So let's do a list of accounts and call this accounts. All righty, so inside of this list, um, I'm just gonna put a basic for loop, so, and then this will sort of iterate over the list of accounts that we're passing in here. Okay, so, basically what's, yeah, we'll just save it like that. So we've got a basic Apex class here with this. Um, so now the next thing we're gonna do is just copy the Apex class name that you've got here, go back to your trigger, Apex trigger, paste in your name, and put dot. Now you need to get the actual method. So we've got our method there. So we're gonna put in our method and inside of this, we're just gonna go trigger dot new. Alrighty. So hit save there. Then inside of this is basically where you wanna do whatever you wanna do. Um, I'm obviously just using a basic method here so you can do whatever you want. Let's, I'm just gonna put something like, um, uh, not comment, let's put a system debug and say trigger handler account has been updated. With a few exclamation marks. Alrighty, so if this works now, we should be able to go into account, update an account, and then that should fire this method, and then we should see the system debug happening. So let's go to uh, the, 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 the Salesforce accounts. We'll go new. No, we don't need to go new, sorry. We're just doing an update. So I'm just going in here. I'm just gonna update anything. So let me maybe change the rating from Let's change the employee number. Let's make the employees 8,000. All right, so that's been updated now. If I go back to my dev console, you can see that we've got a new log here. Uh, double click on that. Then go to debug only. And cool, you can see that it actually fired and we can see our system debug that I spelled wrong, trigger handler. <laughs> So if I go back in here, I can actually go handler. That's been updated. But yeah, so it also shows you like the line number there, which is line number eight. And if you remove that little checkbox, you can you can see everything else that's happened in here as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. If you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.